I've been using it for a little over two weeks now and baby, yeah, it's worth the hype. We like it. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshana Dupuy and if you're not, uh-huh, you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin, prop reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every Thursday. By the way, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers slash supporters slash my homies who are coming to the party, aka Fiesta with me. Damn, I got a bleach stain, y'all. I don't feel like changing, y'all, so we just gonna run with it. Today, we're reviewing the viral. Beauty of Josan sunscreen. A huge shout out goes to Mensa Nicole. She watched my K Beauty skincare routine video and recommended this sunscreen. I've been seeing it around, I already was thinking about it, but once Ms. Mensa Nicole requested slash suggested it because she said she loves it and it doesn't leave her skin greasy and it has zero white cast on her deep dark skin. Cause she said she's on her fourth bottle, honey. So not only was she loyal and a real one for watching the video and suggesting a different product for me to try, but genuinely she put in a song right now. She felt like it's worth the hype, so I had to try it, order it, got it. I've been using it for a little over two weeks now and baby, yeah, it's worth the hype. We like it. This is the first Korean beauty sunscreen I've ever tried and I was genuinely shocked at how well it works. I don't know, it's not, I never felt like it was marketed to me. I didn't think it was something I should try, but as I mentioned in my Korean skincare routine video, the Korean beauty industry knows what they're doing. The products have been phenomenal thus far. I am really in love and I've been slowly just naturally transitioning to a all Korean skincare routine. Not because I don't love my American products, it's just they have been working better for me. My skin has been really glowy and yes, I still get the occasional acne. I popped this one, I know I'm bad. Um, I still have a few dark marks. This is still a lot lighter and overall brighter and smoother than my skin has been for a while. So loving it. Let's talk about this Beauty of Joseon sunscreen though. It came in this cute little box. And I do like to keep the packaging because on the packaging, it will have descriptions and ingredients in English, whereas on their bottles, and I found this for all my Korean skincare thus far, it is not in English. It's pretty rare to find it in English. The packaging usually holds us down though. So let's see what it says on the box before we get into my experience with the sunscreen. It says the directions is to apply evenly over face and neck as the last step of your morning and daytime skincare routine. Ingredients is in English, but baby, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know nothing about skincare ingredients and I'm not gonna even try. I'm trying to tackle the natural hair care ingredients to avoid and add in skincare ones would be a bit too much for my brain. Really quick, if you made this far, go ahead and like and subscribe cause you're already vibing with your girl and I want you to join the fiesta. So come on. It says that it has rice and probiotics and it is SPF 50 with PA plus 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 plus. I don't know what PA stands for, but it's SPS 50, so I was down to give it a go. I wanna talk about the very first day I used it versus a week after using it, and then I'll just give you guys my overall pros and cons. So the first day I used it, honestly y'all, I don't know why I expected it to be a thicker consistency. Here is the huge cap. It comes with a foil on it to block the product. It has the little poker. If you ever have one of your medicine tubes come with this, just poke it right in. I was able to just take it off, so I did it that way. The bottle is 50 milliliters slash 1.69 fluid ounces. So this is travel friendly, ladies. Little squeeze bottle, and I wanna show you guys how it looks because I was shocked by the consistency. Thick white, but as you can see from the little trail here, it is sliding. I don't know why, but from it being in a tube, I just assumed it was gonna be a thicker consistency. Look at how it just. I washed my hand, don't worry. Look, right, so I was like, oh my God, it's going to have a white cast, I'm nervous. But it doesn't. Uh, 
But what it does have, you see how it just melted into the skin? It kind of leaves a little glow, okay? Like, it melts down nicely. Do not worry about it if you're not one of the dewy lovers, because I'm not. And even if you see a little, little bit of a white cast, even it just smooths into the skin in like an hour. At least that's been my experience. It went away. It was nothing to worry about. It just melts into the skin so nicely. I need a little more for my neck. Oh, so you just see me do that in live timing. For me, this absorbs a lot better than some other sunscreens I've tried. Although it has that little bit of a liquidy consistency, no worries at all. It's non-greasy. I agree about that as well. Not greasy at all. Just from how it absorbed and left my, my face with that bit of glow, Great first experience, really loved it. Then let's talk about a week in. So a week into trying it, I haven't really heard anyone else mention this, but it happened for me, so I just want to quickly note it. My face started to feel a little dry. And I've been having the same routine, just using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen. You guys know I love that sunscreen. I've been using it for years. I noticed that my skin was feeling dry. Since it was the same routine, just a different sunscreen, I knew it had to do with the sunscreen. I do not know if that was happening for me because it's winter time, it was a bit cooler, my face was drying out a bit more. I don't know, and I do have combination to dry skin. So what I decided to do was change my moisturizer. I started going with a thicker moisturizer and layering the sunscreen on top of it and that issue went right away. If anything, my skin has been feeling even healthier and more plump. It just smooths. If you choose to try the sunscreen and you notice that your more gel-like moisturizer isn't working, I would say try a thicker moisturizer if that's what you want to do. I do think that in the summertime, if I continue to use this by then, I do feel like my gel moisturizer is going to work perfectly fine then just because the air is going to be a lot more humid and my skin's just going to be a bit more hydrated in the long run versus in the winter when she becomes very dry. That's why I had to switch it over. That's like one of my cons. I'll tell you my other con now since we're on it. This is not waterproof. It's not. If you want a waterproof sunscreen, there's a bunch of other options that I'm going to be looking into. I think that for the everyday use, it's not a big deal if something's not waterproof, right? So it's whatever. Just know if you wanted to use it for the beach and pool days, not your option because it's not waterproof. It's not going to protect you while you're in the water. So... Just keep that in mind. But other than that, now that I've changed my moisturizer for the past two weeks and some change, it has been a beautiful experience. Let's talk about the pros, just so that you guys really grasp why I like it so much. It's lightweight, non-greasy. You guys seen how quickly it absorbs. And when I talk about the absorption, the way the reason it was such a big deal is because one, no white cast, but two, I do have a full daytime routine. So it's really important to me that any sunscreen I use, I'm sorry that this is like so bright, the sun's hitting it directly. But it was very important to me that the sunscreen is able to mix well with my other products, not irritate my skin, which this has not done at all. I do have eczema prone skin, no issues since using this. Uh, acne, I've been having a bit of acne. If anything, I feel like my skin has been smoother. So there you go with that. But there's no peeling. It hasn't given me issues and the rest of my products are very hydrating. I just let it dry down a bit Then I go in with that thicker moisturizer I've been talking about and put the sunscreen over it easy breezy great routine for the morning and the fact that it's SPF 50 I know some people do like tinted moisturizers with SPF or 30 or 30 I don't mind a 30 SPF But if I can get a 50 SPF with this type of experience, I'm gonna go for it every time. So overall this the one, y'all. It is worth the hype. I, I don't know what else to say other than if you want something, for my chocolate girlies, you can give it a try. It looks lovely on us, especially if you like that more dewy look. Imagine with a little highlighter and glow. I love it. And I have used it under makeup and everything, y'all. Like, it is a go. It is worth the hype. I do think I'm gonna try another Korean sunscreen. So if you have a recommendation, put me on. The reason I want to try another one though is because I want one that is waterproof. Just so that I'm prepared for my beach and pool days, my vacations, I wanna have something already with me. So I wanna give some other stuff some tries. So one more time, if you've been thinking about trying it, go for it. If you were nervous because you're a chocolate girl and you weren't sure what the experience was gonna be like, don't worry, no white cast, it absorbs beautifully. I seen that they have it on Amazon. It was definitely under $20, don't know if that was a sale. But y'all, just go buy it. Just try it. That is all. If you have a product suggestion or video request, go ahead and comment down below. 
because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.